Hello and welcome. My name is Melissa. I am the owner and artist here at the Top Drawer RVA located in Richmond, Virginia. I'm also a Dixie Belle brand ambassador. Today, we're gonna to work together to make over this beautiful big buffet. Believe it or not, I found this buffet on Marketplace on my local buy sell trade for free. Somebody was going to take this to the dump. So I sent my husband to go pick up this gorgeous buffet. What I didn't tell him <laughs> was that it was almost six feet long. He wasn't very happy, but we got it home and ready for cleaning. As always, with every single project that I paint, I clean it inside out with white lightning or pristine clean, vacuum the drawers and get it ready for paint. The top of this buffet was in beautiful condition but had some really big scratches. In order to refinish this properly, I used citrus strip and stripped down the top of the buffet. I apply my citrus strip with a throwaway brush and leave it to sit for at least 30 minutes before I remove it. While I'm waiting for that stripper to do its thing, I got in here with my silk all-in-one mineral paint. I love silk paint. This paint has a built-in top coat and a built-in primer, which means I'm going to have zero bleed through on this red buffet. This gorgeous color is called Black Sands. It's almost like a graphite charcoal color. I applied it with a smooth synthetic brush. Applying silk paint requires a smooth synthetic brush. You can use your Scarlet or any one of the Dixie Belle synthetic brushes. I like to apply it in even sections, working on one drawer at a time and waiting two hours in between coats of paint. Since this silk Alma mineral paint has a built-in top coat, when I'm finished, I'm done. I can just walk away. I covered the entire base of the buffet using Black Sands Silk Alma Mineral Paint. Silk paint is available in 30 beautiful colors. Now that my citrus strip has been on the top of my buffet for at least a half an hour, I came in with my plastic spatula and scraped off the excess amounts. After I removed as much as I could, I came in with mineral spirits. Mineral spirits is going to help get that wood dry and back to basics. I then sanded the top of the buffet until smooth. The plan for the top of this piece will be gel stain. I love using Dixie Belle's No Pain Gel Stain for the tops of buffets and dressers. It has a beautiful tone and really brings out the best in any piece. Today, I'm going to be using a brand new color from the gel stain line. This is Golden Ash. Wearing gloves and using an applicator pad, I'm going to apply one even coat of gel stain onto the top of the buffet. Gel stain can be applied onto an existing finish. If you had a buffet or a dresser that you didn't want to strip and stain, you can still use gel stain on the top of your project. So if your surface has not been stripped or sanded down, your gel stain will wipe on in the same manner and sit on top of the surface. For this project, I wanted the wood grain to show as much as possible, so stripping before staining was essential to get this look. Wipe on your gel stain in the direction of the wood grain. This helps keep it smooth. I like to wipe it on and getting all of the wood covered and then going back over in long, even strokes. No Pain Gel Stain is an oil-based product. This product could take up to 48 hours or longer to cure. Once your gel stain has cured and dried and no longer tacky or cool to the touch, you're going to make sure that you can seal your work. I like to use any of Dixie Belle's clear coats, 
gator hide or extra coat to cover my gel stain for extra durability. For this project, I only used one even coat of gel stain. It goes on quickly and dries and looks beautiful. Since I work indoors in a climate controlled area, my gel stain was dry in 24 hours. I was able to come in with my blue sponge and my satin clear coat to seal my piece. You can add as many top coats as you like to your project. I added my second coat of silk all-in-one mineral paint for my finished product. I absolutely love how silk paint glows in the light. For just a touch more depth, I added some best staying wax and black to the corners. I then came in with a small brush and touched all my details with gold gilding wax. From trash to treasure, thanks to a little bit of TLC and some Dixie Belle paint products. Can you believe that somebody was going to take this beautiful buffet to the dump? Oh my gosh, I can't believe I saved the day and made her beautiful once again. Thanks for joining me on my painting journey. I'll see you again next time.